you are daily. I'm Frank Cosentino, along with the man they call me head. Without any gray on me. Email hey, Monday on the 27th of By the way, November. Frank, i got to interrupt real quick. We got an email a while ago that we talked about. It was in the top five. The reason I shaved my beard, I saw a gray hair. I'm smart enough to shave them You can't get the gray out. Go. Let's start with Devante Lex in Brooklyn, New York. Which title between the NWA Championship and the World Heavyweight Championship has the most history behind NWA, it? NWA, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Corey Ferguson. Hey, guys, my name is Corey, and I have to say, nice gig you two got there. I don't want to get too greedy, but I request to ask two questions. First, there have been some discussion on your show about the new ECW. I'm a blood mark and love the old ECW, but now when I have to lower my standards to test as being the hardcore <laughs> as a choke slam <laughs> off a balcony, ECW is a total turn up. Do you guys think WWE forgot all about the old ECW fans? If so, why? WWE doesn't care about the old ECW fans. That's not what they were trying to market to. WWE was trying to market to anybody that remembered the name ECW. They used the ECW originals to get over the new talent. It's just another branch. I'm not finished. It's just another branch to go ahead and develop more names. From across the I'm pond, finished. James Bassett in London. Hey, guys, like everyone else, I'm going to start off by saying how great PWRshow.com is. Got two really? questions. First, uh, your opinion, the biggest pop you've ever heard from a crowd. I'll answer mine. Uh, Thank you, because I want to take a second. There's, there's two. One, which if you're an old AWA fan, uh, when Hulk Hogan came out, the place would erupt. But in the late 90s, every time you heard a uh, the place went nuts. That was what Steve Austin Is the question the biggest pop you've ever heard anywhere or the biggest pop you've heard live? Heard, ever heard from a crowd. Easy. And uh, unfortunately, I was not at the event. My man Damien was at the event. It was in Chicago. And it was the night that the countdown to the millennium ended and the man popped out. His name was Y2J, Chris Jericho. I did get to experience the second loudest pop ever, which happened in Milwaukee when it popped up again. Uh, secondly, my girlfriend is also really into wrestling, but is very embarrassed to admit it, largely because she thinks that her friends believe that wrestling is aimed at all 14-year-old boys. Do you think that's still the case? Yeah. Of course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I would say, 12 to 25. I but, don't know. and the only thing that they gear towards the older wrestling fan is when they throw the oldie moldies in there. Your flares, your uh, Dusty Rhodes, your, you know, Ron Simmons, they're throwing those guys in there. Damn. Damn! I think that damn comes because I called us the oldie moldy. Liam Doctory of Bristol, England. My question is, why do you think the WWE underuses great wrestling put on odd matches don't get the push in this line they deserve? It's not how well you can wrestle. It's about how much merchandise you sell. That's what the business is about. Aaron in Antioch, California writes, I have loved Money in the Bank since they first made the match. Oh, yeah. But instead of three Raw stars and three SmackDown stars like this past year, what about three 10E guys and three WE guys. Obviously, it's not going to happen, but no. it's a great thought. Um, that is, yes, you're right. But you know what I think is going to happen this WrestleMania? Because now we're melding everything together to Raw, to SmackDown, to ECW. <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. what I think of it. Brett Sullivan in Sydney, Australia. Brett Sullivan, dude, that's our safety advisor over at the company. Uh, he's, he first says, thanks for uh, reading my question a couple weeks ago. This week's okay. question. Can someone please explain the idea behind these short IC title reigns? Jeff Hardy held it for a month, Johnny Nitro only a week, and depending on the result of the latter match, which, of course, Hardy won. They used to do it with the heavyweight championship. It's to create a pop, a buzz, a uh, uh, you know, little friction. And uh, my man Damien also referred to it once as the volleyball, known as the IC belt. They're doing it to get some interest, to say that anything could happen here in the WWE. You don't know if they're going to win or lose. Right, and normally the IC belt was the precursor to being the champion. You had right. the IC belt for like a year or so, uh, then maybe you won Royal Rumble. And you there was a guy that stuff. held it over a year. He held it a long time. For what, I believe he had long signed burns and had his hair slicked back. He came to my town in a pink Cadillac. The greatest IC champ of all time, honky tonk man. Paul from across the pound. Pound. pound yeah. Well, they right. use pounds over there. It's okay. Uh, hey, guys, love the show. So now that Monty Brown has officially joined WWE, mm -hmm. uh, what angle, rival, or gimmick will he be given, and will it be used as a main eventer? His gimmick will be Monty, Monty Brown, and his gimmick will be that he's a former football player, and he will fail. 
Rob in, in my opinion. That is your opinion. Rob in Wakefield, England writes, Hey guys, love this show. I'm a big Matt Hardy fan. That's a shame. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was watching a match from Unforgiven 2005. It was one of the best matches of the year between Matt Hardy and Edge. And it begged me to ask why this feud shouldn't be in some fort. I, I think he's trying to say reunited. Reignited because that little heat that they had between uh, Edge and Matt Hardy because of Lita, it's gone. Nobody, it doesn't matter anymore. Lita says she's going to retire. Chris Rogers from Omaha, Nebraska. Did you ever meet Buck Rogers from the 25th century? Just a question. It has been said that the smart wrestling fans are making their presence felt more in the WWE. They boo John Cena relentlessly to the point of where they boo him out of the building. Why is it then that these same fans who on the internet jeer Cena and praise Shelton Benjamin never seem to give Shelton Benjamin the pop he deserves? I, I think that part of it is Shelton Benjamin just isn't that good on the stick. Shelton Benjamin isn't that good on the stick. And you got to understand, WWE controls the environment when you go to a show. So unlike some other people, they do actually enhance sounds. They do work what's going on there. And the people that are screaming, those are little girls that are screaming for John Cena. Mike and Linda Robinson. Oh, hey, a couple. Hey, guys, I've been out of the wrestling loop for a long time. I just started watching you guys a couple of weeks ago. Captain Obvious. I'm a big things. fan of the show. You guys rock. But I recommend shouting, All Hail King Booker. And all oh, hail, <laughs> King Bucka! And my, oh, and Mr. Your, Kennedy! As loud and as All loud hail. as you can at the beginning of the show to get it out of your systems. Ah. I really have time to watch WWE and TNA. Uh, my question is, which wrestlers in the business today you feel should be pushed and utilize the most uh, best roles in the companies, uh, like the next Triple H, so on and so forth? Um, just watching that ladder match uh, last Monday night, Johnny Nitro is the kind of guy that, if pushed the correct way, could be one of the next... I players. disagree because Johnny Nitro is getting pushed. He is in the Intercontinental Mids. He does have a really smoking hot valet. Uh, don't worry about Nitro getting pushed because he's got the hot... I mean, between the team of Eminem, who got kicked out? It was Joey Mercury. Nitro is the guy of that team. Just like, um, you know, Kenny is being the one that's pushed from the Spirit Squad. I say bring back the Mean Street Posse. Joey Abs, Pete yeah. Gass, and the other guy. I don't remember his name. Sean Sullivan, Lisbon, Connecticut writes, Thanks, guys. Love the show and hope to get a TV deal in my area. My one question... What city? He's in Lisbon, Connecticut. I'm on it. What are some of the major flaws of WWE that TNA capitalizes on, and what are some major flaws of TNA that WWE capitalizes on? I'll tell you what, TNA, and I'm going to make this real quick, TNA is kind of like the old ECW. TNA doesn't really have any true heels except for that guy that's gone, Double J. Uh, TNA has people that people root for, kind of root against, but for the most part, they appreciate good wrestling. I mean, I don't know how you feel about that, Frank, but TNA is just a place to watch great wrestling. Now, obviously, you got the goofy gimmicks in there, but uh, that's where TNA really capitalizes on WWE. Now, where WWE capitalizes on TNA, they market their people unbelievably. They have money also. I, I didn't say that they didn't have that, but, I mean, they market their people unbelievably to the point where if they want you to, root for John Cena, you're going to root for John Cena. Neil in the Bahamas. If you ever have a room, give me a call. I saw your show on YouTube. With Love, Neil? Instant fan. No. I'm saying he's got an extra room. Okay. You didn't say extra. Go. I didn't say extra. Just wanted to talk about WWE's misuse of talent, namely Shelton Benjamin. I uh, hate to see one of the most gifted athletes in the company be held back. Gifted athletes, yes. Can he speak in the ring? No. Not yet. And... Shelton Benjamin does not sell merchandise. I don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. The earthquake doesn't want to hear it. But Shelton Benjamin does not sell merchandise. Therefore, it's great to watch him work and put over other talent. That's why he's still around. Zach Warren in Astoria, New York. I would like to say that the show was great. I watch it every week. And I'd love to see a six-man elimination chamber match. The wrestlers would be Jeff Hardy, Shelton Benjamin, Chris Jericho, Edge, Shawn Michael, and Carlito. It would be a... The raw pay-per-views. Yeah, and unfortunately, because ECW is using the Chamber for their pay-per-view in December, you won't see the traditional New Year's Revolution pay-per-view with the main event of the Elimination Chamber. Matthew he Hedke, if I mispronounced the last name, I apologize, in Waukesha, Wisconsin. 
Uh, my that's around here. That's around here. My comment is about the gimmicks. I was thinking about the differences between TNA and WWE, and one thing I noticed is that, w, or, that TNA pushes the wrestlers ahead of their gimmick. What I mean by this is, if, let's say Christopher Daniels in WWE with the Fallen Angel would lower him from the Raptors, uh, would be wearing a pair of fake wigs painted black for the Fallen part of the... Wings. Wings, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, I, I guess the question is, on gimmicks, TNA pushing the wrestlers ahead of their gimmick. It, it's real easy. WWE, what do the initials stand for? Worldwide Entertainment. Oh, well, wrestling entertainment. But entertainment. Right. It doesn't really matter what they're called. World Championship Wrestling, Extreme Championship Wrestling, those had wrestling in the title. WWE does not. Dean Moore writes... Worldwide. What a... There seems to be a lot of talk recently about color commentators, and with the crappy selection as of late, it's no wonder. What I want to know is if you could grab a play-by-play -play expert and a color commentator from any time in any company and team them up, who would <laughs> they be? <laughs> That's a great question. We, we debate this all the time. Uh, I've always enjoyed Gorilla Monsoon. Lord Alfred Hayes was a great thing. And Lord Alfred Hayes. Uh, they, they were good. Uh, I don't think that, you know what, I don't think Lord Alfred Hayes and Gorilla Monsoon can call today's action. No, they couldn't call it together, no. No, well, I'm, I'm talking Monsoon about, could. they could not call today's entertainment. I, they would struggle. They are old school wrestling commentators. The guys that you'd have to get are Bobby the Brain Heenan. Bobby could put over that product. Yes. Jimmy probably could put over that product as well. Uh, the problem is, you need a, a Gordon Sully. <laughs> uh, PJ Harney. From Ireland, as the WWE has new policies about what cruiserweights can do, do you think it would be better for those cruiserweights to leave WWE and go to TNA? Honestly, why would a... It depends on what the wrestler wants. And Money? Re remember, we're thinking about what we want. Depends on what a wrestler wants. Does a wrestler want to make more money, work more dates, and get more cash and be away from his family more? Or do they want more exposure and more chances to uh, explore their athletic ability? you got to think about that. Sam Schneider, I am across the pond in London, England. Damien's not here. I'm not doing the thing. Sorry. Recently, I, I feel it looks like history is repeating itself with the WWE being WCW and the TNA being the old WWF. WWE are becoming arrogant with their employees, Kurt Angle, Christian, etc. The James Gang are doing the, the same things that uh, we saw DX doing. Do you think that we'll ever see a similar situation to that of 2001, or do you think WWE will learn WCW's mistakes? It's a great question. No, they won't learn their mistakes, but WWE, as far as business goes, will not go under. There you go. Uh, it's about business, guys, and you know, as much as we as fans and you as fans want to think it, it's about business. They can tell you that they believe in what you want to see, and they know they will listen. They don't care. It's about money. Andrew Keegan in Glasgow, Scotland. Hi guys, love the show. Do you think the ECW, do you think ECW needs to bring back the tag team titles, or the TV title and show as just the world title will always be made for guys like Big Show, RVD, and so on? Yeah, I, I think the tag titles should yeah, be something. ECW, when yeah. they expand the roster, tag titles, because that way you can involve more people in the mix. Uh, that one's wow. way too long. <laughs> we'll skip that one. Uh, Mark from Washington. Uh, what do you think of Jeff Hardy's chances of winning the WWE title in the future? <laughs> Two, slip and none, pal. <laughs> Luke from Illinois. What are your thoughts on That's from around here? Kind of. What are your thoughts on the current announced Survivor Series matches and you think Survivor Series looks like a good buy? Yeah, you know what? If I had to pay for those, I'd probably buy it. What do you who do you think wins? Uh, the team that has more wrestlers left at the end. You go there. Thank you. Uh, Lord Zappa, thank you so much for all those emails, by the way. He sent like three. Anaheim, California brings us Brian. Hey, guys, PWR is a great show, and I watch it every day. I was wondering if any of you guys saw The Marine, and if you did, what did you think of it? I'm I have, to hold, I I have to hold judgment because I haven't seen it. You know what? When it comes out on DVD or cable, I'll watch it. Um, it's probably just your standard, typical formula movie. I'm not going to 
you know, put it against John Cena. No, no, I think it's a good stepping stone for him, and maybe sure. he'll do other, other moves in the future. Uh, whether I haven't even seen See No Evil yet. I'll see it at some point, if right. I can stomach it. That, my friends, is Email Monday. We haven't read it that way, but I just thought I'd say it. Thank you so much for all those emails. We flew we through those, and we still had spent... And continue to send them, pwrshow.com. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Obviously, you're hitting the message board, which you appreciate. Yep. Stick I'm around. reading them. Frank's reading them. We read that stuff every day, so don't think that your posts are just up there for giggles, dude. We read that stuff. All the new features, the new indie uh, area, all the stuff that Amy and Nelson put together. It's great stuff, and we do it for you. No matter how much gray is in his beard, he still works hard for you. Don't forget, tomorrow, a new... Yeah, that was so daily. Uh, so stick around for that. We had the call meetup, Frank Costantino. 